Hello and welcome back to the channel my friends. How are you all doing today? I am Radolf and I am looking fly. Today we are going to be going to kill the moonlight butterfly. Zero deaths, zero hits, whatever else you want to say. Should I grab the crest of Artorias? No, who cares? Fuck it. You know what, let's hit that bonfire and get our flask back. Oh, Titanite Demon. I'm feeling awfully strong. I don't remember what is here. I remember there is a short spear, I believe, that had a unique move set. That would be a shame if he me lead me. Oh, shit. Man, almost, almost, boy. They should have made you like one of them Dark Souls fucking four enemies. Yeah. Giving you an animation pause, then I will have never gotcha. All right. You know what? Change of plan. We're going towards Havel the Rock. Don't we'll get that. That, you know, if I'm using a halberd, I might as well use the halberd, you know what I'm saying? Might as well be a cheesy motherfucker. This is the wrong way. I got some jets flying over my house right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I hope it doesn't interrupt the recording too much. It's not bothering me too much. It, it was loud as hell outside. Um, when I was outside, bro, I had to cover my ears up. It damn near blew me eardrums out. Where am I? It doesn't this lead to the fucking archer set, the leather set? Yes, it does. Finally got ourselves a bow. Should came here earlier. Gonna go down here and get the grass crest shield. Why is it two of the best items in the game? Three of the best items in the game are along the same path. The grass crest shield. The halberd. Oh god. Oh, that's 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 a shame. The Grass Crest Shield, the Halberd, and the uh, Red Tear Stone. Okay, okay, stop. Bye-bye. Can I parry him? Probably. Do I have a shield that can parry him? Probably. Do I also have fists? Yes. I don't want this. I'm probably not going to use it even if he uh even if he drops it, right? Oh my. Do I heal? Oh. Risk it for the biscuit and I and I won. I'm a gambler today, boys. I'm a gambler. Give it. Wow, bro. Wow. I'm resetting. We're not going to play this playthrough anymore. Fucking trash RNG, bro. Huh. I just had the thought that if I want to go down here and get Red Tear Stone... I'm gonna have to fucking get past those damn... Wyverns. I don't necessarily need Red Tear Stone, it's a fucking crutch. Really used for challenge runs. And... I don't see myself really using it anywhere in the playthrough, but I could just wear it, and in case I get low and have the chance to use it, that could be fun. Use it as kind of like a... combine it with my blue tier stone. I might as well. It ain't like I can get got by these dudes. I'm fast rolling. I seem to remember this guy on the bridge is a pain. Oh. There's something about his- I'm pretty sure his wings, like, have knocked me off before. No! Alright, good enough. 
Yeah, I think it was that charge that knocked me off. That is the bandit set, I believe. I don't need it. Oh, motherfucker. That is dog shit. Where am I? Alright, we're going the other way. We're pussies. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Bomb! Perry! Yeah. How we doing on the recording? We're five minutes in. Gotta make shit happen. If we're gonna be doing 30 minute episodes, I gotta stay focused. I gotta stay sharp like a blade. I've gotta be all over this game, man. Progressing. Looking good. Damn. Look at those fucking shoulders. I mean, we could go back to, uh... What, what, what was the reason why people immediately go back to the... The Undead Asylum, right? You get the... the the rusted ring, you get the doll, you get to kill the black knights, I guess. Why did I come down here? Okay, yeah, now, now I remember, okay. Fuck, there's something about Firelink Shrine that just burns my fucking brain to a crisp. Whenever I enter there, I forget what I'm doing and just want to sit there for an eternity. I, I, I don't think I'm going hollow. Like, I, I feel perfectly fine, right? Even when uh, I get sent back to the bonfire, it doesn't feel bad at all. So, I mean, I'm clearly the, the one hollow that's never going to go hollow. I don't look hollow at all, right? I know I have 4,000 souls on the ground, but that doesn't matter. Oh, God, lag. Oh, oh. I swear, I'm gonna leave, not gonna fuck with that until it actually fucks me over. You know, I got the master ring, master keys. Might might as well fucking. Ugh. Maybe I'll move the game to my SSD after this session. The reason I think it's on my hard drive is because I I downloaded a bunch of games because I was expecting like internet outage because I had trouble trouble with my fucking ISP. <sighs> Do I dare? Uh -huh. What is this? This is, um, the magic shield, right? Oh, motherfucker. It was worth it. It's fucking worth it. Did I sit at the bonfire? Probably not. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of YouTube magic here, and we're gonna teleport over to the fucking, the Red Tear Stone Ring. Alright, we have used our magic and have returned to where we are. Um, so I was actually thinking that the stuttering may be due to, like, shader caching, or shader optimization, because this is the first time I've played this game in a very, oh my god. In a very, very long time. Now, something tells me I can hit his, like, claw. And I'll be alright. But that's okay. Damn, this game is dark, bro. Maybe that's wh why it's called Dark Souls. I'm sure that joke's never been made before. Hello there. Don't knock me off, please. Fuck you, bro. Wow, it double hit. That's stupid. Alright, we're done with that. Fuck it. We'll come back later. Absolutely fuck them. Fuck those stupid wyverns. Where am I? Where am I going? We're going to the fucking Moonlight Butterfly. Yes. Yes, we are. It's been nine minutes. And we have made very much progress. That's okay, though. I'm not a speedrunner. So... I've always thought about speedrunning, like I've always considered it and think and thought, well, maybe I'll learn a speedrun route one day. Because I, I know there's like a Grave, Grave Lord Sword route in Dark Souls 1 that looks pretty interesting to do, but 
at the same time, I feel like if I put the time and effort into speedrunning, that I will ruin the game for myself because I will become just unable to fucking lose, right? If you take the time to become good enough to speedrun and get the game down to a science, you'll never fucking lose again. Like, your enjoyment of the game will be different. Which is why I don't haven't ever taken the time to learn a speedrun route. I'm sure I could if I put a you know a couple hundred hours into a speedrun route, but I, I enjoy being slightly bad and slightly rusty at the game. Because when I learn something to a fucking science, there's literally no way I can lose. <laughs> and that's what speedrunners do. Right? I had a... The Fume Knight, for instance, when it came out, I got rolled by it so fucking hard that I ended up creating a way to beat it that is completely just, there's no way I can lose ever. I, it doesn't matter how long or how many years it goes in between me fighting. Don't you hit me through that fucking door, Havel, I swear. Um... Oh god. Here. Oh, did I just backstep dodge that shit? Wait, this isn't Dark Souls 2. Why can I not roll? Fuck, bro. Why was he at the door? Trap, trapped between a, trapped between a crystal golem and a rock. All right. We're having a little bit of difficulty here. But as I was saying, the fume knight I devised a method on beating him that I can basically beat him without getting hit no matter how long goes. And as long as I remember that method, it's just easy. Easy peasy. And the reason I had to do that was because he rolled me so hard, I lost literally all of my human effigies and had to change my build four times and I was still getting shit on by him. So I ended up having to use, you know, AI manipulation on his ass. Um, yeah. It was a rough time. My friend and I were co-oping that playthrough the first time the uh, Dark Souls 2 DLCs came out. And when we came across the, <laughs> the Fume Knight, bro, I just, I got rolled so hard. And both of us, we, we died together until we ran out of human effigies. And then we died with randoms. And then we died by ourselves. And we gave up for like two weeks. And then we came back and tried it again. And, uh... Then we gave up for a, um... Like six months and we came back. I finally figured out how to beat him. I was like, bro, I just, I just one-shot at me so easy. And my friend was like, fuck you. I was like, I'll show you, bro. I'll show you. And both of us, we've never had a problem with him since. Like, Sir Alone is such a fun fight. Man, Dark Souls... Dark Souls 2 has some interesting memories in it. Do any of you guys that played Dark Souls 2 back in the day remember, uh... Listening for the clicks on your PlayStation 3's hard drive? for when the Mad Warrior spawned in, when you are farming it at the Belfry. Bro, I remember that shit. Sitting there listening to clicks, like, you hit the bonfire, and if you heard your hard drive click one extra time, you knew the, the Mad Warrior spawned in and you could go for it. You guys remember that shit? Oh, those were some elite tactics back in the day. Nowadays, on PC, you just use the Task Manager and look for the memory to go up, but... That was it. So right now we're taking the long route to Havel because that's just how I'm doing it. Something scared me about going through the woods this time. I don't know why I thought this way would be longer or shorter. It seems far longer. But maybe I'm just trying to inflate the video time, huh? You never thought about that. You never thought about that, did you? I'm a professional YouTuber. This is extreme. 
Bro, let me through. Let me through, please. Oh, God. No, no. Oh. Oh. Good thing I opened this door earlier. Thinking ahead, eh? All right, Havel. I just have one thing to say to you, you motherfucker. And that's to sit, because you about to get rolled. Havel the Rock has messed with the wrong person. Oh god, please no. Oh. Oh, fuck. All right. Okay, I'm I'm pairing way too early. Hold on. I gotta use my brain for a second. I gotta chill. So, he took that much of my HP. Which means I need a double heal to survive the next hit. Alright, let's just... There we go. Now, we don't actually need to parry chain him. I'm pretty sure we can backstab him. Oh, I hate you, Havel. I fucking hate you, bro. Oh, and he got me. The phantom range. Maybe it wasn't phantom range. Maybe I just didn't back up as far as I thought I was because I was against the wall. Or maybe it was just like the tip of his dragon's tooth. Ugh. That's unfortunate. I could have gotten the backstab too. I just made a mistake on not backstabbing him right there. I, I hesitated because I thought he was going to actually motherfucker. Hey, he didn't block me that time. Good. What about this guy? He didn't block me that time either. Good. This is where we could use the red tear stone ring. Like, imagine letting Cavill hit us once. And, uh, then just parrying him to oblivion like a professional. But I'm too bad to get the red tear stone ring, to be honest. It's just... Why is there an enemy behind me? All right. Teleportation time. All right, we are back. And this time we're going to kill all these motherfuckers so they don't fuck with us. If they actually come in here. Any more? Any more? Oh my god, that's a lot. Who knew we would be soul farming today? Alright. Put my game face on, put my parry boots on. I know parrying him is the hard way to take him out. But I might as well remember how to parry now. Fuck you, Havel. I hate you. You gonna do a running attack on me? Nope. That's not the attack I want. Backstab. Now, I believe he does a right attack on standing up. Nope. Wow. Okay. Run away. I'm a coward, yes. One. God, I'm bad. <sighs> Was I not strafing right around him? Why did my character roll straight into him? I was moving right. I did this, not this. <sighs> Teleport. All right, I'm back. I'll kill these boys. Um. Yeah, I can't believe I've died to have all this many times, to be honest. It's kind of disheartening dying to have all like this, but it's okay. Okay. Wow. You're telling me 
He doesn't have the stamina to block two when he is shielding and not attacking, but when he's shielding and attacking. I guess they were like partials or something, that's weird. Alright. Just gotta get good, at least we're soul farming. I'll probably give it a couple more attempts, right? I know I can beat him. I just... It's, it's been a while. I feel like if I just do that, I'll get fucked. Fuck you. I'm just, I'm gonna do this. Fuck Parangue. That's the hard way. Alright, let's get one more parry to finish it off. My obsession with parries will be my downfall. Yes, it is. Oh! Fuck. I don't intend to wear this ring for much longer, but I wanted to put on my swag. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> what are you? dare go fight the Hydra? I think we dare. I know I thought I was going to kill the Moonlight Butterfly, but... I want to get revenge on this Golem. Ooh, the Hydra. Okay. Man, this game, it does feel clunky and slow compared to the other ones. Wow, that's, that's a lot longer than I thought it would be. It may just also be the weapon I'm using. Alright, let's just nuke him. At least we have 10 flasks. Oh, wow. Did I really just get caught on a fucking fern, bro? Oh, it's, 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 there's a logs there. There's a log there under the ferns. Nice. All right. Teleport. All right. We, all right. We are back. Um, so, in terms of teleporting, like, the, the, like, cutting in and out of the recording to cut down on, like, death run times, I really do enjoy, like, I, I enjoy watching Dar Dark Souls playthroughs, and I enjoy watching uh, people death run to a extent, but not a massive amount, right? I think one or two death runs is okay, but not, like... In. I think that just kind of slows down the recording and the progression, right? I've watched um, YouTubers for years on Dark Souls, regardless of, like, skill level, and, um, yeah. What, like, a couple boss runs is to be expected and kind of, like, good flow for the game play, but when it comes down to, like, I don't know, 10 boss runs or something... Or more than 10, it just it just becomes tiresome for the viewers, right? I remember watching uh, Game Front's old 
Dark Souls runs back in the day. That was one of my favorites of all time. Watching the game front boys play Dark Souls, Mitch, James, those guys. And, well, you know, it was incredibly fun to watch and they were, they had great commentary. But when you get into boss running for like two hours straight, sometimes it's just, I feel like it's better to do a little bit of edi editing. And I'm not doing editing. What I'm doing is I'm using the pause button on OBS to just pause the recording. So I figure a little bit of care now will help me later when it comes to this type of stuff. Right? Wow, bro. Wow. Alright, let's go. You're you're not gonna fucking shoot me again, are you? All right, I'll get I'll get closer. I'll get closer. I'll get closer. Chill. I'm right here. Stop it! Stop, please. And this is a safe spot. Oh, bullshit. Alright, this is a safe spot. Might as well use our flask. It's not like... Okay, that's not a safe spot. Let's try it right here. There we go. Now we've got a nice safe spot right here where the head was that we just broke. This is one of the most interesting bosses, you know, in a video game right here. Motherfucker. <sighs> I shouldn't have wasted all those flasks earlier. Just roll. Wish I had a Dragon Slayer Great Bow. Oh, you... How is he back further now? The HP is looking kind of iffy. I don't like the fact that he's shooting. Okay. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna say it. I hate this fight. Alright, I'm just gonna block. God damn it. It's so clunky, man. The, uh, the sp the sprint doesn't activate in a timely fashion for the sprint attack. There we go. One more. <sighs> I'm not even going to bother with that fucking head. I'm just going to stand here and use a firebomb on it. Motherfucker. 
All right, where's my binoculars at? If we're gonna play this game. We might as well do it right. I have a bow, actually. There. I get it? No shot. Fuck. All right. As to what the wooden arrows are for, I was predicting it. I hate having to do this. You know what? We'll shoot the head. That's... <laughs> Can't take too much damage. He's got like 200. There we go. Oh, that was tedious. That was actually fucking tedious with the halberd. I think uh, um, I could have baited him over to get off my screen to like over here-ish, and that head would have been on the platform. But, I didn't want to do that. Like, I'm pretty sure right here is where that head is on the platform. We're going to go over here and see if we can take out the, the OP Golem, if it's actually here. And then we will head back to the Undead Parish. To sit at that bonfire. And progress through the area like normal. It's not here. Okay. Good enough. I'm definitely not climbing up that ladder and getting wamboed by cats that flip around. I know there's some weird trick with this ladder you can do can't remember it. There's like some glitch that you can do with that ladder right there. Oh. I'm getting the hang of combat again. I'm kind of feeling the flow. The halberd is slow, so it takes a little bit more thought than the katani. Katana. Well, we have succeeded to an extent. We come back with 11,000 souls. And, um... You know, we killed the... Whatever it's called. The, the hydra. It was way harder than it should have been, to be honest. One day we'll have the ability to wear boots. That'll be nice. Right? To wear real pants. But then again, Balder Knights don't wear real pants. need like oh yeah I need a uh, blooming purple moss clumps for blight town yeah I pay so much attention to that enemy when I walk through here let's buy some stuff Where you off to, mate? Where's 
my katana at. I'm just gonna do it, just in case I need a fast weapon, because sometimes you need one. Oh, I need one more. Fuck. Well, me. All right, purchase item. Oi, where are you off to? I've been feeling good today. I've been feeling high energy. So hopefully the recording is reflecting it. Excited to be back in this world of Dark Souls. Damn, only one attunement. Fuck. Whatever. Alright. Next video, we kill the Moonlight Butterfly. Oh yeah, we have a hat now, so when I look at the wall and talk to you guys, you can't see my face anymore. Isn't that nice? Huh? Get to see my beautiful helmet. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.